All right, gonna do a video scripturally proving that Islam's Allah is not the same deity as Jehovah, or the word for God, the biblical name for God. And I need to just uh, quickly point something out. I'll be using the word Jehovah to refer to God since that is a scriptural name for him. You can see that in Exodus chapter six, verse three, Psalms uh, 53, verse 18, Isaiah tw uh, 12, verse two, Isaiah 26, verse four, Genesis 22, verse 14, Exodus 17, 15, and Judges chapter six, verse 24. So Jehovah is a biblical name, so I'll be using that. And I'll be using the word Allah when I refer to Islam's moon idol. Okay, I'll be doing this since the word Allah itself means God in Arabic. And an Arabic-speaking Christian, an Arabic-speaking saint, would use Allah when speaking in his native language about God. So I want to distinguish between the biblical Allah, Jehovah, uh, and Islam's Allah, who is nothing more than just simply an Arabian moon idol, who Muhammad uh, incorporated, in, incorporated into the God of Islam. So I wanted to just make, show that distinction. But here is scriptural proof that Islam's Allah is a false god, not the same deity as Jehovah. Uh, so f number one, the Quran states that Allah can't be sinned against in Surah 4, 111. However, the Bible clearly shows that Jehovah can be sinned against. Genesis chapter 20, verse 6. And God said unto him in a dream, Yea, I know that thou didst this in the integrity of thy heart, for I also withheld thee from sinning against me, therefore suffered I thee not to touch her. Okay, Jehovah God makes clear he can be sinned against. Okay, David also understood this as well. Supposedly one of the prophets of Islam actually understood doctrine that goes against what the blasphemous Quran says. Psalms 51 verse 4. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Hmm, interesting. Moses also understood this as well, as shown by when he said that the Israelites who worshipped the golden calf and committed the sin of idolatry sinned against the Lord. Deuteronomy chapter nine. Deuteronomy chapter nine. Sorry, verse fifteen to sixteen. So I turned and came down from the mount. And the mount burned with fire, and the two, ta uh, two tables of the covenant were in my two hands. And I looked, and behold, ye had sinned against the Lord your God, and had made you a golden calf, and had and ye, ye turned aside, ye had turned aside quickly out of the way, out of the way which the Lord had commanded you. So they, they, Moses understood this as well. Some other examples where you can where it shows the ability to, to uh, sin against Jehovah, to sin against God. Uh, Hn sinned against the Lord. God of Israel, uh, in, so you can see Joshua chapter 7, verse 20 down to verse 21, when he had brought the cursed object in his possession in Joshua 7, verse 11 to 15. The prophet understood uh, that the Israelites sinned against you know, the Lord, Jehovah, when they, brought, uh, when they burned incense to the Roman Catholic Babylonian goddess, the Queen of Heaven. You can see that in Jeremiah 44, verse 17 down to verse 25. And yes, the Roman Catholic Church took the Babylonian Queen of Heaven and made her the Virgin Mary. Just wanted to point that out, bash at the uh, mystery Babylon Roman, uh, Roman Catholic Church. And also the prodigal son said he sinned against heaven. You can see that in Luke 15, 18, Luke 15, 21, and also Luke 15, 21. So uh, once again, we see that they can sin against God, sin against Jehovah, therefore showing that Jehovah is not Allah because supposedly that uh, Islam's Allah can't be sinned against. All right, here is the next piece of proof that the Allah of Islam is not the same deity as Jehovah God. We already saw before that uh, Allah says he can't be sinned against, but Jehovah clearly can be sinned against. But here's the next piece of proof. The Quran states that Allah has no son in uh, Surah 18, verse 4 to 6, Surah 9, verse 30 to 31, and Surah 23, verse 91. However, the Bible says that Jehovah has many sons. Okay, hear me out on this. Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of God. John chapter 3, verse 16 to 18. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. John chapter 1 verse 14 and 18. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Sorry to the uh, Roman Catholics and their Mary idolatry. Uh, it's Jesus Christ is full of grace and truth, not Mary. Uh, John bare witness of him and cried, saying, This was he of whom I spake. He that cometh after me is preferred, is preferred before me, for he was before me. 
uh, and all and sorry and of his fullness have we all received and grace for grace for the law was given by Moses but grace and truth grace and truth sorry came by Jesus Christ no man has seen God at any time the only begotten Son who is in the bosom of the Father he hath declared him okay uh, also Hebrews chapter one verse five to six for unto which of the angel for unto which of the angels said he at any time thou art my son this day have I begotten thee and again, I will be, be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he bringeth in, when, when he, sorry, when he bringeth in the first begotten, begotten uh, into the world, he saith, he, sorry, he saith, and that all the angels of God worship him. Okay, I'm not good at reading on a computer, but we see there, Jesus Christ is the only begotten son of God. However, I mentioned there's other sons too, okay? Adam is the created son of God. See Luke 3.38. The angels are angelic sons of God. You can see that in Job 1.6, Job 2.1, and Job 38, verse 7. Uh, Born-again saints are spiritual sons of God. They're we're adopted into God's uh, family. You're a spiritual son of God. You're spiritually, spiritually adopted in. Uh, you can see that in John 1.12, uh, 1 John uh, 3, verse 1 to 2, and Galatians chapter 4, verse 4 to 7. And the nation of Israel is the uh, national son of God. You can see Exodus 4, 22 and Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 31, where, you know, Israel, where God talks about, you know, Israel, my son, talks about that, uh, paraphrasing, of course. But so we see that God has Jehovah, I'm referring to, has many sons. However, the Islam of the, sorry, the Allah of Islam, I do apologize, uh, has no son. Okay. And also first John chapter two, verse 22 down to verse 23 talks about, you know, if you don't have the son, you don't have the father. That's also further proof that the Allah of Islam is not Jehovah God because if you deny the Son, you don't have you don't have the Father. Plain and simple, and Muslims do not have the Father because well they're worshiping an Arabian moon idol that Muhammad simply took from the uh, pre-Islamic Arab polytheism, made into the God of Islam, and hence why he had the easy time essentially converting the Arabs because well, well Allah was already a God they worshipped. They already knew who Allah was. So that's the thing. That's why you'll see the prevalence of the moon in Islamic art because Islam, uh, the Allah of Islam, is a moon idol. Plain and simple, and he is not Jehovah. Jehovah and Allah, you know, the Allah of Islam and Jehovah of God's Word, it, Jehovah of the Bible, basically, are not the same deity. And Muslims and Christians do not worship the same God. Islam is of the devil. Plain and simple. Uh, don't be deceived by this whole new Chrislam movement. It is a, uh, it's just another tool of the devil to try to get Christians in cahoots with heathens. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.